beating a boss is normally a big deal in a game. But in Minecraft, that doesn't feel like the case. When you kill the Wither boss, you get another star, useful for making beacons, but upon killing the Ender Dragon, you get an egg, which doesn't even spawn a new dragon. It's always puzzled me why the dragon egg doesn't do anything beyond being a nice trophy on the shelf or a nice lamp that looks surprisingly good. So why exactly is the dragon egg so useless, especially since Notch seemed to have bigger plans for it? First of all, what is the dragon egg currently used for? Well, its intended uses are that of a trophy. It's a victory piece to showcase your hard and valiant fight killing the ender dragon. It does have some useful properties though. It emits light, which makes it a good lamp, and it's affected by gravity, meaning it falls like an anvil. The fact that it's affected by gravity has made it useful in lots of technical contraptions and exploits. Up until Minecraft 1.13, the dragon egg piston method was the easiest way to destroy bedrock, especially useful above the nether roof. This worked because when a dragon egg was dropped while in an unloaded chunk, it broke the block below it. The dragon egg was used in more advanced methods of bedrock breaking in the past as well, even for quarries, but none of these features were its intended use. The only other cool property of the egg, provided no duping takes place, is the fact that there can only exist one dragon egg in a Minecraft world. For single player, this virtually means nothing, but for multiplayer SMPs, it creates what's at least known on my server as the race for the dragon egg. As soon as a new world begins, players will rush to the end to try their hand at getting the one-of-a-kind dragon egg and thus being the only player on the server to be able to get the next generation achievement unless they share the egg around. Now, interestingly, way back in 2011, Notch did have plans to add more dragons to the game. Particularly, he was planning to add overworld dragons that couldn't phase through or destroy blocks, were much smaller, and could land. Known as Red Dragons, this seemed like future plans, potentially involving the Dragon Egg. That never came to be, however, and while Jeb would mention how he planned to add Red Dragons, Dinnerbone later in 2013 would mention that it was shelved and not in development, but would also mention that there's a good chance they'll be added someday in the future. Obviously, over 11 years since Notch first mentioned them, Red Dragons never came to be, leaving the Dragon Egg still utterly useless. And I think that's a huge missed opportunity. One of the issues Minecraft survival faces is the lack of challenging endgame content. The Ender Dragon really isn't that difficult to kill, especially when it's no longer your first time fighting it. Therefore, it's not really a valuable trophy, as the accomplishment of killing the dragon, I personally don't think is really that amazing. So then, let's make it something that players should strive to get. Let's improve the Ender Dragon Egg. You should also all strive to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's aim for 700k by the end of the year. No pressure, of course. First of all, it's a dragon egg, right? Eggs are meant to hatch. So then, why the hell isn't the dragon egg used to respawn or spawn another dragon? Instead, the dragon is just willed into existence by some end crystals. So let's actually make the dragon egg respawn the ender dragon, but instead of making it exactly the same as before, why don't we make the respawn dragon more difficult to kill? This dragon could be substantially bigger than the previous one, with some new attacks that will make it significantly more difficult to kill. For example, it could have a more widespread version of the Dragon's Breath attack, as well as some physical attacks that swipe or throw you into the air upon contact. Now we've got the solution to one major problem, that being the dragon fight being too easy. But we still have another unsolved issue. Upon killing the new upgraded dragon, then what? The end is still barren and empty beyond getting an elytra and shulker shells, with no reason to return to it besides using an enderman XP farm if you have one. We need to give players a reason to respawn the dragon and kill the upgraded version of it. That's why we'll make it drop some new items. There's a few options here I've come up with. First of all is Dragon Scale or Dragon Bone. Upon players getting this Dragon Scale or Bone, they can use it in conjunction with Netherite to upgrade their armor. It could be called Reinforced Netherite Armor or simply just Dragon Armor. Dragon Armor would have a higher durability than Netherite as well as higher armor toughness. I would give Dragon Armor more knockback reduction as well, but this is a generally disliked feature of Netherite Armor on most servers as it really hurts PvP, so maybe not. Anywho, beyond just being a physical upgrade to Netherite, reinforcing it with the strength of Dragon Bone and Scale, and thus upgrading the armor to Dragon Armor, also gives it the ability to be enchanted with some additional
additional enchantments. Some of you might not know this, but for a period of exactly two months back in early 2019, from 1.14 to 1.14.2, you could actually create God Armor. That's right, for a limited time, you could apply multiple different types of protection to armor, allowing for the creation of perfect armor sets, offering far more protection than Soul Protection 4 ever could. This feature was unfortunately removed in 1.14.3, with many players wanting it to be re-added to the game, as it took a lot of effort to obtain. In order to actually create a set of god armor, I had to make a large pigment XP farm, as well as gigantic trading hall with all the villagers required to get the dozens of enchanted books. Then of course I had to laboriously combine all the books together in a specific order. It was a task that took lots of time and effort, a task which could only be accomplished in the late game, something which as we've previously discussed, is severely lacking in content. Dragon Armor could be the perfect solution to bringing God Armor back. If you got Dragon Armor, you could regain the ability to apply multiple protection enchantments to the same armor piece again, and thus create God Armor once more. There's other enchantment based avenues that Dragon Armor could go as well. For example, enchanted books such as Dragon's Fury could be an upgraded version of Thorns. Sturdy could be a boots only enchantment that allows you to hold or double tap space to jump higher. Dragon's Gaze could be a helmet only enchantment that allows you to stare directly at Endermen without making them attack you, while also giving nearby mobs the glow effect, allowing you to see them through walls. These enchantments can only be obtained from killing an upgraded dragon or maybe even in new end structures or islands and can only be applied to dragon armor. And why stop with just armor? You could also use dragon scales or bones to upgrade your tools, giving them faster mining speeds and higher durability. One special perk of dragon tools is that they could have one additional block of reach, making them more than just a basic quality upgrade over netherite. New enchanted books can also be added for these tools, such as Dragon's Wisdom, which lets you more experience when mining ores, Skull Splitter, which allows access to break logs and wood-related blocks instantly, or Bone Strength, which prevents tools from breaking when they run out of durability, similar to how the Elytra doesn't break. Furthermore, Dragon Swords could also have the ability for multiple types of sword enchantments to be applied to them, finally allowing players to have Smite, Sharpness, and Bane of Arthropods all together. Elytras deserve some love as well, so why don't we borrow an idea I came up with a while ago and make it so the upgraded dragon could potentially drop special gems. These gems could be embedded into an elytra and would give them special upgrades. Or maybe instead of the dragon dropping them, these gems could only be found on end islands and can only be mined with a dragon pickaxe. Green gems could make the elytra more agile, losing less speed when you suddenly change directions or corner, as well as moving up or down. Blue gems could make the elytra faster, through increasing its top speed, and also could make the elytra more efficient, losing speed over time slower. Red gems could be the combat gem, allowing the elytra to do damage when taking off with a gust-like effect, as well as allowing the elytra to do damage to hostile mobs when flying nearby them, as if it's slicing them with the wind it creates. If gems aren't your thing, then special elytra-only enchantments could also be obtained by killing the dragons, such as dragon wings, which allows you to glide for a certain period of time, sort of like a worse version of creative fly, or dragon scale, which makes the elytra protect the player, like if the protection enchantment was put on an elytra. Now, all these special enchantments, dragon scales and bones, as well as elytra gems, can only be obtained by killing the upgraded dragon. But they won't drop all at once, instead requiring multiple respawns utilizing the dragon egg every time, meaning in order to achieve a full set of dragon armor, elytra gems, or all the special enchantments, players will have to kill and respawn the dragon multiple times. And the dragon could also get more powerful or unique after a few respawns, to prevent the fight from getting stale too fast. For example, it could get a teleportation attack or a drifting attack on its third or fourth respawn. So that solves a fair amount of issues right there. It makes the dragon fight harder and more challenging, provides players with a reason to return to the end and respawn the dragon multiple times, and ultimately makes the dragon egg infinitely valuable, as it's the only method of spawning these upgraded dragons. But you may be thinking, killing the dragon over and over would eventually become stale and pointless once you obtained all its rare drops. This is only a short time fix to the many issues the end and the dragon face. Okay then, let's say a player has killed the dragon a few times and doesn't want to respawn it and fight it anymore. He could respawn it one more time and opt to do something different. Let's say you use the dragon egg to hatch and spawn another stronger version of the dragon. This time, instead of killing it though, you could weaken it down to a very low health threshold. When it's at this low threshold, the dragon could be tamed by a special dragon saddle, only craftable with dragon bone or scale. If you do decide to tame the dragon, it becomes loyal to you like a pet, and you could of course ride it around. 
This would mean the dragon egg would no longer exist in the world, but instead you would have your tamed dragon. Beyond that though, I don't really know how a dragon pet would work because I feel like it's too big to be practical for flying around and also too annoying to fly when compared with an elytra. Maybe the rideable dragon could be worse at turning and accelerating, but it could fly twice as fast as an elytra and of course wouldn't require rockets, therefore still giving players some reason to use them over the elytra. Okay, so you may be thinking though, Mr. Epic, these ideas are absolutely awesome and insanely epic of course, but this still makes the dragon egg only have one additional function and that is to respawn the dragon. Well then, why don't we make the dragon egg do some stuff as well? Here's an idea, why not make the dragon egg a mob repellent or killer? Basically, the dragon egg would work like the conduit does, damaging mobs which enter its radius and preventing them from spawning. The dragon egg could be the non-aquatic version of this and when placed, could kill mobs and prevent them from spawning within a certain radius. This radius could be upgraded similar to the beacon by placing blocks below it to extend its radius and damage. The blocks used to upgrade this egg could be dragon bone blocks, which of course can only be obtained from combining dragon bones together. Or maybe you could just smelt the egg and make some extraordinary eggs benedict that prevent your hunger from draining for a couple days. That doesn't sound so bad, actually. Anyways, I hope you liked my ideas. Let me know of your own that could improve the dragon egg in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching.